into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I am telling you what I am saying. The time is coming and the time is almost so close when you shall get so down that you won't have money to even fill your car. God forbid! God forbid! And I am telling you what you have to do. You must find every reason possible to get rid of that woman you call your wife. You must send her back in. Because even that girl you call your daughter. She's not yours. Hey. This, the only way forward is for you to get rid of that woman that you have as your wife. That child she's carrying is not yours. Hey! Jeez, this is so difficult to believe. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you telling me that Elizabeth has been cheating on me? The same people that offered her job that is bigger than her are still working. Even since she stopped going to them in line with your instruction, they are still seen. They are still sleeping together. Let me tell you something. That daughter of yours and that child in her womb, they are not yours. That woman has been manipulating you. And the climax of that manipulation is that she is going to turn you into a beggar. You can stop it. Oh my God. Hi, Anujue Monte. God. This is terrible. Huh? You didn't know if your marriage you see where What have I done wrong that God will punish me with an evil woman like, like, like Elizabeth? Eh? How on earth can Elizabeth open her legs for other men? Eh? Um maybe you haven't been giving her enough. Gina, don't say that. I provide enough for Elizabeth. I do. The most important thing is that you now know the woman you have been living with. The future of a man is the most important part of his life. Now that you know what the future holds for you if you continue to stick with that woman, I only expect you to do the right thing. What is it, Mirabel? What is it? Alessia, there is a man here that said he came from Enuguku and he wants to see you. Tell him by the way of Enuguku. The only uncle the wife has, I want to see him. He said his name is Mbadiwe of Enuguku and he's your wife's uncle and he's here to see you. All right, give him the phone. Okay, hold on, he wants to speak to you. Hello, Silas. Uh, I have been here in your office waiting for you. Are you not coming to work today? Listen to me, okay? Listen to me, Mbadiwe or whatever you call yourself. I don't want to see you in my office, okay? Leave my office right now because I don't want to meet you there. You hear me? Silas, do you realize the person you are talking to? This is Mbadiwe of Enuguku. No, hold it there, stupid fool. I don't care who you are. If you like, you can be Mbadiwe of the whole of the Chicago local government. I don't care. I want you to leave my office right now. Because if I meet you there, you just say your phone now. Hello? Uh, hello? Are you sure you died the right number? You don't know his voice? It was the one I called and the person you spoke with. Now I know he is no longer normal. 
I don't know the answer to give to you. The only thing I know is that my boss is no longer the man I used to know. He has changed. I don't know what is wrong with him. All sense. Um, I hope there's no problem. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm ready to sort these people out. Fire for fire. What have I, what have I wrong, done wrong to, de to deserve this kind of treatment? What have I done? Can you bring GC where you I'm going to go one up to a job. I know you are a gentleman. Promise me in your honor that you will handle this matter as a gentleman. How will a gentleman handle it? With strong sense of decorum, piety, and maturity. Just tell me that is what you are going to do. You are such an awesome woman. Don't worry, I won't disappoint you. That's mm. good. <laughs> I walk into the door. Listen, I'm... listen. My office is a place we can transform into anything at any point in time. I am a businessman. Just come up with any line of action and leave me to perfect it. That's what I do. Do you know what? Just come up with any line of action and leave me to perfect it. That is what I do. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do? I will call you back later this night so we can discuss in greater details. You know? The beautiful woman that knows the value of Zion. Talk to me. He just left my place. I mean, I'm super excited. This thing is working. Listen to me. The only problem we are going to have is if that woman is still praying. Because prayers has damaging effect on our metaphysical sacramentals. Whatever we can generate from the seven books can be destroyed by prayers. But if that woman is no longer praying, then I can assure you that we are going to throw her out. Amen. 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 I mean, I need this man. I need this thing to work. I want him. That is my job. You don't have any problem. Using the seven books to manipulate the physical. I have done it for some women in the past that paid me good money. And I'm going to do it for you. I trust you, Zion. I completely trust you. Don't worry. I will pay you more than any other lady has ever paid you. I will keep you posted. Always at your service. Anytime, any day. Thank you. should never try again in this house is to answer me with a question. I ask you again, where are you coming from? Silas, I want to pick your daughter up from this school. <laughs> mm, Elizabeth, you must think I'm a fool. You must think I'm a big fool. You must consider me a fool. It's a couple of minutes to 5 p.m. Lane closes around 1 in the afternoon. So tell me, where have you been? I went to see my former boss. I told him, I called him and he said I should come over to his office. Your former boss? 
you went to see your former boss. Who is your former boss? Mr. Donald Roberts, director of Danger Beverages. I called him. I told him about my daughter's predicament. I told him with a, I told him she was to pay three hundred thousand naira, and I didn't have any how or any way to raise it from. So he gave it to me. He wrote me a check for five hundred thousand naira. Oh, oh, so it is true. It is true you have been sleeping around now, eh? What are you saying? Silence. Are you accusing me of sleeping around? Are you denying it? That someone wrote a check of 500,000 in money you refused to raise for your own daughter. Are you serious? Are you trying to deny Now listen to me. And listen very well. I give you 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, to leave this house. If I come back and meet you here again, we got to join you. I'm not checking out. I'm not checking out. I'm not checking out. I'm not checking out. All I will say is that you have to relax here. I listened to him when his secretary called him from his office. And all he wanted was very clear to me. Wipe your tears, my dear. I want you to understand one thing. He does not deserve a woman like you. Uncle, the most painful part is he denied his daughter and his unborn child. That is to tell you he's a fool, a big fool. Mm. Your father is no more, but I am your father. This is your home. You can stay here for as long as you want. I know that God takes care of his own people. That's exactly what I told her. Silas and Quacha is not your God. He stopped you from using a certificate and he turned around to call you a lazy woman. Ne. Just wipe your tears. God is watching. I never thought this kind of thing would happen to me. I don't want to leave my husband. I can't. That doesn't mean you should stay with a lunatic. A lunatic who can raise his hands and beat a pregnant woman. My dear, I don't know why you want this case to end. Without any arrest or possibly prosecution. We don't have to get to his own level. We don't have to descend to his level. I want posterity to judge him. Okay. Wipe your tears, my dear. Don't worry. And I don't know why something is wrong. Wow. I love this place. I mean, the furnishing is near perfect. It shows that you have prevailing class. Thanks for the compliment. It's like the same thing I said about your apartment. It shows you have class too. But seriously, you know. I want you to stop calling this place my house. It is our house. You see, the evil woman who blindfolded me into loving her without asking questions is gone now. You are the one I have. <clears throat> That's very romantic. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I owe everything to you, you know. You are amazing. And I will always love you. And what could you possibly define as love? Love cannot easily be defined, really. Um, several authorities have tried to define love, but the one I find appealing is the one defined by one Ugezo. Okay, but I don't think I've heard his own definition of love. He says, love is a seed planted without plan. It will always grow when nurtured with truth. <clears throat> really? Yeah. I don't see why you would like that kind of definition. You don't like it? Um, 
I think we should just forget about Gezu and his headaches. I think we should concentrate more on ourselves. <laughs> well, here we are. We have a time in the whole world to discuss about ourselves. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> What did you just say? I want to hear that rubbish you just said. Sir, you're already angry. I would not want to say anything again. Don't dare me! I said I want to hear that rubbish you just said. Sir, you are no longer paying attention to some of the things that require your attention. What I said is that the lack of attention given to those areas are gradually affecting our level of effectiveness as a company. Who and who have you been listening to? I have not been listening to anyone. I am the one that keeps the record. And I know when things are not going well as a business. So I investigated and found out that it has to do with our recent approach to the key areas of business. I am just bothered because this business is my life. I would not want anything to happen to it. I am disappointed in you. Oh yes, I am disappointed. You see, I should have listened to my wife who said that you're like a time bomb waiting to explode. Now finally, you have exploded. But I tell you something, Mirabel. You, and only you, will bear the consequences of that explosion. She never really trusted me. I don't know about that, but you are fired. You are sacked. You are relieved of your responsibilities here. I'll pay you whatever your entitlements are before the close of business today. Now leave. Please, sir. Sir, please don't do this. Please. I was just bothered as a sincere secretary. Please don't fire me, sir. Please. Well, you had it coming. You had it coming. I said you are fired and you remain fired. I'm not like some of these men who go back on their words. I say it and it stays the way it is. You are fired. Now get up and leave my office right now. Don't come back. Business of yours is it. I pay you well. I keep you employed. And yet you put your your interests where they shouldn't be. I call the sack letter or You remember what I told you? Yes. Just give me the contact and I will work things my way. Well, that man is my man. And there is nothing I tell him that he wouldn't do. Wow. <clears throat> this is incredible. How did you do it? Well, I did it my way. Show a man beauty. And he begins to say beautiful things. As they say, beauty rules the world. <laughs> I hope you are not insinuating that you are more beautiful than I am. Because I showed this man beauty and he was never moved. Tell me, are you sure there's nothing else involved? What I know is that ladies have different ways of showing beauty. It is possible that you showed him beauty. But that depends on what you showed him and how you showed it. I will leave you to ponder on those words, Lady Marriott. 
<laughs> Lady Marion. <laughs> This is so fast to be ordinary. What has she done to this man? going on? Why are you the one taking his calls? Because I have his phone with me now. Are you telling me that you seized his number from him? And what do you expect? That I should still leave this number with him so that desperate ladies like you who have been trying to seduce my man continue to try the luck, isn't it? No way, my dear Lady Mario. I am wiser now. You will call him back when I am with him will take your call in my presence. If you don't mind, I am driving. Hello? There is nothing she or anyone can tell me to convince me that this is ordinary. No. Gina. Are you sure you heard him well? I did. He said his wife told him I was like a time bomb waiting to explode. He said I finally exploded. And he fired me for telling him the truth. I have never, ever discussed you with him. I'm sure he came up with that reason just to get rid of you. It has nothing to do with you. Can you please talk to him for me? The last three years I worked with him, I was practically the energy behind our sources. Firing me is not good for the business. Silas Ukocha, please. Who is this? Um, tell him it's a family call from Inwuku. He has to take this call. Well, I am his wife. You can talk to me. What's the problem? Hello? Now I understand why he decided to throw me out. He has another woman waiting in the wings. Where did I go wrong? What did I do that made Silas hate me like this? You said when you called me, a lady picked up the phone. Yes, sir. What's the problem with that? Mr. Kocha, I know who picked the call. Her name is Gina. She's my friend. I can tell you that girl is not worth your trust. Lady Marion, listen to me. You have no right, absolutely no right to talk to me about my woman. With all due respect, sir, Gina is not your woman. I know your wife very well. Gina is a gold digger. See, I'm, I know exactly what she wants from you. Please, I want you to open your eyes and place that girl where she belongs before she destroys you. Get out. Huh? You heard me. Get out of my office right now. If you don't, I won't be held responsible for whatever happens to you here. Sir? Get up and leave! Sir? Out! And don't come back here again. This is, this is what I hate about people. 
They won't mind their own businesses. The Anitinian and Ifena Basanofa. In Azale, we gang. I swear on my life that something is wrong. If I did not know Mr. Kwacha before now, then maybe I would not have bothered. But I knew him very well. He could not have fallen this hard for Gina. Mm -mm. Something is wrong somewhere and Gina alone knows about it. of all this. I am to be blamed for this. I don't even mention Salas to that witch. Hey! But it not mean any harm. I just wanted her to be successful. Have I gone wrong now? I just want you. Don't know anybody by that name? Lady Marion? Yeah, Lady Marion. I've never heard of that name before. Who was she? Well, she was at my office earlier today. And why does my husband look bothered with her visits? No, not at all. It's just that she says she knows you. What? She claims to know me? That's right. From where? I mean, how? Well, I didn't allow her to say all the rubbish she was going to say about you, so... Don't bother with that. But my love, why would you allow such a nosy woman into your office in the first place? Come on, dear. I told you she was my travel agent. She said when she called my number, a lady answered. So that got her curious. Imagine. A travel agent indeed. Obviously she has no job to do. A woman picked your call and so what? You know what, darling? My instinct tells me that that woman wants you. <laughs> why would she want me? I mean, why would she be bothered with who picks or not picks your call? Well, you don't need to bother about it, but, but that, you know, I'm, I'm a, a guy with a gentle disposition and people get attracted to me even when I don't have anything to do with them. Don't let it bother you, okay? Yeah. I well, I'm not bothered, but you will do me a favor. Okay. Disengage yourself from her services immediately. Oh, you don't need to ask that favor. I already took that decision the moment she started saying crap about you, so as far as I'm concerned, she is history. Better. <sighs> My darling. <laughs> Happy now? Of course, I'm just surprised by Haiti, who I didn't know. See, she knows me. Well, Please. Uh, uh, so, why don't you take your drink now? Mother, I did not come this far just to drink. When I called and you told me that you are here in Enuguku, honestly, I did not believe it. <sighs> Lady Marion, we have come a long way. Hmm? I'm, I'm ashamed of where I am anyway, but it's okay. Nestle, I understand. I'm even thanking you for allowing me to come at least to see you. <laughs> it has only proved one thing to me that I have a place in your heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please, please don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. I don't want to go back to remembering the things I have decided to forget. I'm very sorry about that. I'm very sorry. No, don't bother yourself. You don't need to be. Why are you here anyway? Mother, there is something deeply wrong in your family, and that is where you are back here. <sighs> Lady Marion, I just begged you not to remind me of some things I've chosen to forget. You're still doing it. You see, I think I know who is behind this. Yes. I don't know what she did, but 
I am sure. I am sure she knows what is happening between you and your husband. Um, I knew there was a woman in that house because I called and a woman picked the phone. She had the cause to, to speak to you? Huh. I never knew this girl can even hurt a fly. I can't believe this. Oh, you have to. You have to believe it because it is happening right before your eyes. <laughs> Look. She came to me for financial help. I directed her to Mr. Silas knowing how nice he is. Little do I know that she could go this far with her desperation. I'm truly sorry. It's my fault. Don't blame yourself. Because anyone to be blamed with Silas. If someone had told me in my wildest dream that Silas will look another woman's way. Even if the woman was stuck naked in front of him, I don't believe what look at it. There must be a way out of this. And I am willing to help. I am willing to help. Because I am seriously sure that Mr. Saras is under some devilish influence. I came running to you after Silas told me that she visited his office. Little did I know that this fool was still laying nets for me. The only thing I can say to you is that your timing is perfect. Had it been you didn't mention her name to me by the time you did, maybe we would have missed this Who knows what that fool is planning with that pregnant animal? Whatever she's planning is very dangerous and you have to do whatever that is within your powers to stop her. Thank you for coming. And welcome to my humble abode. Come in. What's wrong with China? How could a woman do this to another woman? I blame myself for this. Oh, come on, Mario. Relax. Have a look. <laughs> mm. Don't tell me you're going to stand all true. Are you rejecting my drink? Gina, you did not come in here just to give me a glass of juice, did you? 
You are a friend I hold in high esteem. You cannot make me hate you. Chena, this is the very definition of wickedness. You mean you skimmed a woman out of her matrimonial home and came in to assume her position as a woman of the house? Why are you such a terrible friend? I only called you here to say a big thank you for the contact you give to me and not for you to rain abuses on me. Do you ever think of tomorrow? Do you think of future when you do some certain things? I still don't know why I'm having this funny feeling that you are going to expose me and rock my boat. Why are you giving me the impression that you are not happy with me and with what I have achieved? Gina, you still have time to make amends. What God has joined together, let no Gina, no man put us under. You have used your evil powers to put us under a thriving marriage. And I ask you, do you think these things you're doing have no repercussions? People like you are the reason I go all the way to seal my trust. Oh, Maria, you are a bad loser. Accept it and don't force me to make you pay. Gina, are you out of your mind? You don't have to call me a loser because I was never dragging anything with you. The plan was just for you to make this man give you money to establish yourself. You went beyond that by destroying another woman's home. And I must be very frank with you. Posterity must be very harsh on you. And where do you think you were going to? And where would I go? What will I be doing here? And who says you can leave? China. Hey. You have a gun? When did you start carrying guns? You are the only one who knows my little secret. And I know you can't keep it. But I will make you keep it. You know, don't do this. out with you just because you have money to spend. Outside that, you're very boring. <laughs> My dear Valentina, don't you think that is an insult? <laughs> no, darling. It is no insult. And you know that yourself. I mean, there's something very weird about your character. I can't say it. But you're just so different from others. Yes, you are. Well, if that is what you mean, I can see sense in your nonsense. Yeah. But I am different from others, like you said, because I am a man who believes in reality. I mind my business. Why are you both staring at yourselves? Sorry, my dear. I am just trying to satisfy my curiosity. Have we met before? Well, my business makes me meet many people every day. I don't know. Well, my name is Silas. Silas Ukwacha, CEO, Socha Oil Servicing Company Limited. What line of business are you? Well, I am a building contractor. I have a lot of building sites I visit on a daily basis in this town. It is possible you may have seen me in one of the sites, but the truth is that I've never seen you before. Well, this world is just a, a very complex place, you know. You look so much like someone I had met before. I am not the one. It's all right. Enjoy yourselves. You're welcome. I don't know him. I don't get it. I thought you said you're a sole distributor of spiritual candles and spiritual oil used in spiritual churches. Why tell him you're a contractor? Because I don't know him. 
No, I don't, I don't know. I don't, are you expecting me to open up on a man, a total stranger, on my exact line of business just because he came here to say he's a CEO of one company? Is that the way you operate? No, 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 no. That man that just left here now could be a froster. And I'm not going to play into the hands of frosters. <laughs> well, you're right. There are frosters everywhere. And I just learned to warn now. Now you are beginning to speak again like someone that sleeps on my bed. As if you have brain inside that you tickered. <laughs> Make another order. I don't need nothing. I'm fine. But seriously, you weren't expecting me to just tell him what I do for a living? I just... I mean... There's no point lying. Because he's a CEO. I mean... Can you justify that? Can you believe that? Do you know you? You don't say he's a CEO. No, you he's a CEO. That's why he just... Yeah, Wait a minute, Gina. Um, I want to get you straight. Are you trying to insinuate that I don't know what I'm saying? My love, I didn't say that. But there are some things you just cannot say. How can you tell me that you saw my spiritual director in a bar drinking with a girl? My, that is my, not my possible. My dear, I am telling you the gospel of the truth. He is the one that I saw. <clears throat> you know what? Let's save this cock and bull story. We should talk about the money. All right. It's okay. I'm going to talk about the money. But first, I want to make this your spiritual director. Oh, come on, Silas. Don't be ridiculous. We can't just go seeing the spiritual director without making an appointment. Okay. Fine. Let's give it a try. Okay? Let's get there first. If we fail to see him, I'll know he's not the one that I saw. What are you up to? You don't trust me anymore? Listen, don't, don't try to confuse me with too many questions and, and, and begging the issue. What I'm saying is that I want to meet that your spiritual director and I want to meet him now. Now! The only thing I see clearly is that your future is very bright. I see you emerge as the new minister for petroleum resources in this country. It is already confirmed in the spirit, waiting for us to do everything humanly possible so that the manifestation is not delayed. Mm. It's as if you read my mind. Really, I want to be the next petroleum minister in this country. It is, it is done already. Already it is done. What we have to do is to banish all the spirits that cause delay into Bermuda tribe where they belong. The earlier you make money available for me to engage myself in all the spiritual exercises that must take place before it happens, the better for you and your wife. Mm. Okay. Okay, but um, let me find out something, please. You know Morgan and Morgan Consulting, right? Of course, I know Morgan. That big complex has a drinking place behind it. Yes, yes, I know. Have you been there before? Why are you asking the man of God about it? What would he be doing there? Sometimes you are me with your useless question. Do less of asking unnecessary questions and concentrate on what matters here. Pardon me, my love. I just need to satisfy my curiosity. Have you been there? The bar? Let us get something clear here. I don't drink alcohol because I just cannot drink alcohol. I don't know why you're asking me about a bar. I have never been to the bar. Yes, I know the bar, but I've never been there. Well, I met someone there that looks exactly like you. I mean, I could have sworn it, it's you, but since you say you're not the one, I can only assume that in this world people really look like one another. I think it, 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 is, it is not right for us to engage ourselves in frivolities. I would rather we concentrate on that that will give us gain. If you can make three million naira available for me, I am going to create the metaphysical sacramentals that will see you emerge as the minister of petroleum resources in this country. Well, you, you don't need to say more. You don't need to say more. I'll give you the money. 
I'll make the money after the phone. Should I go into hiding in this town just because I'm working for you? You are not the only lady I work for. What's your problem? That is not the point. You have to be careful wherever you go. I mean, you almost ruined everything for me today. Listen, I was enjoying myself with a babe that I found. How in this world would I know that your husband of all people come to that kind of place? Suddenly I saw him coming. He was there. And I, I played along when he confronted me. And from the way he sounded when he came to my office with you, it is clear he's not suspecting anything. Whatever. Just be careful with how you operate in this town. I mean, I don't want you to ruin this business for me with your loose life. Don't do it. Um, I have told you that I am married now. And I have a family. I can't keep spending money on endless jewels. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, yes, look for someone else to buy it. Uh, uh, do you know what? I will call you back, okay? Thank you very much. And send me well to the family. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't want to disturb you. I had to come down here to take this call. Well, I, I overheard you talking about jewelries and how you are not interested in them. And I was just wondering who that was and what that was all about. Um, yes, one of my old friends. She said she had some expensive jewelry to sell to me. I needed to take care of it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you are so amazing. Oh. <laughs> and I blessed the day I met you. And I blessed the day I met you too. I'm having this feeling that there's something about you you haven't told me. Something like what? Like what you do for a living and who you really are. Honestly, I don't believe the crap you told me about being a distributor and spiritual canvas and all that. I don't. I don't understand why, why you are telling me this. Why, why would you believe? What? Well, the kind of money you spend. That kind of money is beyond the kind of business that you do. Really? Yes. Don't look at me like that. Just look at me like I don't know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm a true friend, okay? I just want to know you more. That's it. I want to know you. Should I tell you the truth, Valentina? Yes, please. You are beginning to get on my nerves big time. And you must be very careful. Don't force me to show you the ugly side of me. Because I will kill you in the process of it. And if I kill you, there will be no cops to be married. What? Be very careful. I can't believe this. Did you just say that? Can you be this mean? Don't push it. Okay? Just enjoy what you can enjoy now that I am here. Don't force me to kill you. 
You don't know me as you say. You don't know me. But you won't like me. Be very careful. How does it concern you? I'm sorry. So, I'm sure you had a nice time too. Sure. <laughs> I'll just finish up with this and then we'll go inside. Uh, I'll just finish up with this and then we'll go inside. Why are you always in a hurry to go inside? Well, <laughs> what do you need you to do with the guy? Am I talking to? Uh, 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 can, can I speak with Mr. Silas Ifwacha? My name is Mbadiwe of Elubuku. I tell him it's very urgent, Biko. Mbadiwe of Elubuku said it is urgent. Oh. Yes. Why did you call my number? Uh, 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 Biko, before you caught this call. Eh? I want you to remember the fact that, you see, the wickedness you are showing your innocent wife and daughter, it will hit back at you. Silas. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it right there. Did you actually call this number to insult me? No. You insulted yourself because you refused to see beyond your nose. You, 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 you sent a, a noble woman packing and now you are living with a strange woman. Oh, Silas, think, think. Listen, by the way, or whatever you call yourself, first of all, mind your language and don't call this number again. You hear me? Uh, uh, before, you call, before you call this, this, this call, I have good news for you. I am calling from Enuguku General Hospital. Uh, your wife just delivered a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> so what business of mine is that? What business of mine is that? The little girl she has with her is not even my daughter. Not to talk about the baby boy or, 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 or whatever you say she, she just delivered now. So, I'm telling you, let her know that I'm not responsible. She, she can call anybody, her friends, her cohorts, whatever. And for you, I warn you, don't call this number again because if you do, I'll send the police after you. I'll make sure you end up in jail. Hello, Silas. Silas. Hey. Um, darling, I think the best thing for us to do is to turn off this phone permanently. I don't want those people to be getting through to us. No, 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 no. I, I, I get a lot of important calls on this line. Are you possibly doubting what I'm saying? Turn off this phone so we could be sure that our family is safe. If that's what you want, okay. Take it. You know the best. You get two foot, two foot. You got to work, work, work. I don't want you to have anything to do with that woman who almost ruined your life. Oh, you can be rest assured that I wouldn't. You see, I will never, I will never allow anything to come between you and I. <laughs> Darling. This is so sweet. This is the best thing I've heard today. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, mm. Father, I commit this family to your hands. Amen. You know their problem. Amen. And I hand over the family to your able hand to cleansing their problems. Amen. Every evil forces against this family. I break loose every shackle holding them anywhere by whatever chamber, whatever robe, whatever thread. I cast them by. I break you loose. Amen. I cast them by. Amen. I break you loose. Amen. Wherever you are coming from, Amen. wherever the force is coming from, Amen. I bind in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I lose. Amen. I lose Amen. 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 The Lord high God. Blood of Nothing Jesus. Nothing will work in this from Jesus. Amen. The creator of heaven and earth. I buy.
whined, I cast, I cast. Hey, no hey. weapon of the enemy fashioned against this family shall work in that family. Yeah. Because I say, the God that created heaven and earth is holding them. Because they are children of God. Nothing will happen to the children of God. Nothing will happen to the children of God. I cast and bind. Hey, Where are you coming from? We hey, cast hey, and bind. Hey, Nothing shall happen to your children. Hey, For man. you say that your children, your children shall triumph. There was an attack on your family. The attack was masterminded for an evil one to destroy you. You should be thankful to God for being alive today. Pastor, I lost everything. I lost every single thing. Silas was the one who told me to stop working, that he has enough for the family. I listened to him, he's my husband. And when things started to turn around, he just starved me of funds. My daughter was one of the students selected by her school to participate in an excursion to the United Kingdom. Each student was to pay 300,000 naira. Silas refused to pay for his child. He ignored us. I was helpless, I didn't know what to do. I had to go and meet someone I had worked for. He used to be my boss. I told him everything that happened and he offered to help. I told Silas and he accused me of infidelity that I was sleeping with the man. Silas, he, he denied his daughter sent me away and also denied his unborn child. Forget the past and look into the future. Weeping may endure through the night, but joy comes in the morning. The Spirit of the Living God is telling me that you lost all when you lost your prayer life. A Christian who has lost his or her prayer life will be under the manipulation of the evil one. That's what happened to you. I know, I know I wasn't praying as I ought to, but I was too confused. I couldn't believe it was happening to me, Pastor. I couldn't believe it. Understand one thing. God is in control of everything. There's nothing so hard for him to do. As the children of God, we are to be consistent and persistent with prayers. That's what you should have done. Pastor Henry warned me. He warned me. He told me something was going to happen. That I should pray. But I don't know how I just was not able to do what was required of me. I just became tired. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Is he on seat? Yes, sir. Your boss, of course, Mr. Silas Mkocha. My boss, Mr. Silas Mkocha. Yes. I think you are somehow mistaken. What? My boss is a woman, barrister Mrs. Christie. No, she's not on seat. Do you have any appointment with her? Uh, one more young woman, one thing at a time. Did you just say your boss is a woman? Yes, 
My boss is a woman. Ah, since when? Did Mr. Salas and Kocha hand over to someone else or what? No one bears that name here. I think you are the wrong place. Come on. I know this stuff is like the back of my hand. It's a few months in Europe cannot confuse me. Ah, this is the office of Social Oil Servicing Company, owned by Mr. Silas Nkocha. I was right after all. You are the wrong place, sir. Here is a law firm. Sir, as a matter of fact, we just relocated to this place months ago. Maybe you should call him on phone and know his present address. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Yes, it's a return from UK. I've not been able to get Salas on phone. And now his office is taken over by somebody else. Yes. Okay, okay. You know what? I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Thank you. And I don't know why something is wrong. It's not the way we But you should have just come to the house. You know I hate discussing business at all. I came here because that's the last option I have. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Kenes, the business-minded individual. Please make yourself comfortable. Sit yeah. down. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome to my, Thank you. my humble abode. <laughs> now, what do I offer you? I'm in the house of the king. Whatever he offers me. I will accept. <laughs> Where is Madame and the... Hello, baby. Oh, hi. I'm here. I've been looking for you. Mm, I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, um... Oh, we have a guest. Yes. My long-time friend. Mm -hmm. Business partner. Chief Kenetuku oh. Eze. Chief Jena. Oh, Chief, you're most welcome to our humble abode. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> well, well, why don't you get us something to drink? You know, something for men. Of course, baby. I will. <laughs> Excuse me, Chief. Who is this? Where is your wife? My wife? Yes. She just went to get you a drink. Know whom I'm talking about? Your wife Elizabeth. Oh, people! <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh, Hello. 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 As far as I'm concerned, nothing has gone wrong yet. Oh yes, everything is wrong. You sold your office. You are now having an office in a rented facility. You destroyed your business line. As if that is not enough, you send your pregnant wife away. I mean, that is unthinkable. Uh, Chief, will you calm down and hear me out? Oh, what else do you have to say? You have said it all. I mean, everything is not clear to me. Silas, you need help. Something is wrong and you need help. Will you stand there and tell me that something is wrong and I need help? Nah. I will say that over and over again. Do you know the number of business partners you are going to lose with this your action? Eh? I mean... Oh, can I say? Can I say? This is my private life. And I will not stand here for you to interfere. Oh, oh yes. Your private life it is. Yes, it oh, is. Alright. Okay, that's all. I'm going to tell you right here and now. My company is going to withdraw their partnership with your company. Yes, you know what I mean. Because I'm not ready to invest with a thinking man. But Chief, it hasn't come to that yet. Silas has come to that. I am not going to invest in your company anymore. If you are ready for business, you know where to get to. Um, Chief, piano. Hey. Uh, Continue with 
I tell you that I like that man, then I am a liar. I mean, did you see the way he looked at me as if I... Jenna, what you worry about has no bearing to the present situation. It has no bearing at all to the problem. You did not just say that, did you? I am telling you that I detest the way that man looked at me and you think it's nothing? That man has threatened to withdraw his partnership with my company. And that's a big problem. And... Why would he do that? Who is he anyways? He is somebody that we cannot afford to lose. That is why I am worried. That is why I am helpless. What is the problem? Did you breach a contract you have with him? No. No, not at all. He wants me to bring things back to how they were before. And that includes taking back my former wife into my life. Never. Over my dead body. I mean, why would he say that? I mean, who is he to tell you how to run your domestic life? And I hope for your own good you're not thinking of that. Confusion. I'm a confused man now, baby. I don't even know why all these things are happening to me at this time. I don't know why. Hey. Mm, just with my arrow. What is happening here is that we are trying to keep you safe. That man that came here today is nothing but an enemy. If not, he wouldn't have suggested that rubbish to you. My sincere advice to you is that you stay away from that man. Have nothing to do with him anymore. And that is exactly what you are going to do. Okay? <laughs> and I don't know why something is wrong. It's not the way we... Here in the temple of depravity, we spot evil in somebody before we can do that person any harm. There is no evil in this woman. Make all what you want from that man and leave the poor woman alone. As far as I'm concerned, Grant is a fool. My allegiance is no longer with him and can never be. He failed to deliver when it mattered the most. My allegiance is to Zion. He made it happen and he is the one I believe. to talk to you like a sister. Do whatsoever you want to do with that man, but please do not tamper with his source of income. Sayo, are you listening to me at all? Did you hear what I just told you? I listened to you and I heard everything. I understood everything clearly. Sayo, if Silas ever listens to that man, then this very source of income you're talking about will be permanently closed. But I believe there must be another way around it. The only way around it is to do what I have just said. I don't want Silas to think about that Chief Kenese or whatever he stands for. In fact, 
I want Chief Keneze to be wiped away from Silas's memory completely. I want Silas to hate that man. And that is what you will do for me. You know, ever since I started working for women, I have never seen anyone as complicated, as wicked, and as ambitious as you are. Why is it so? Zion, I promised you something. Trust me, if you carry out this tax for me, you will have all of it. Talking about the cars, right? I remember that. You know, I will get in my chambers and there might be something Zion can do for you. Did you invoke me here? Why did you fail to pick my calls? Because I have no reason to pick your calls. And you know yourself that you don't have any right to call me. You have no reason to invoke me here because it is against the rules of this brotherhood. Why did you do it? For as long as you're using the powers of the temple, we have to look out for you. And that is what I'm trying to do. Please, Grant, what else do you have to say? Because I want to be What do you have to say? I didn't excommunicate myself. You did excommunicate me because you said I wasn't the good person of this brother. So why are you suddenly seeing me as one of the important agents? I don't think you are this foolish. Why dig your own grave with your own hands by going against the rule of the secret world? Listen, that is how I survive. By soiling my hands. By manipulating the books. I will not clear on this yet, are we not? Zion, I want you to live that woman's life alone. Leave that woman alone. Why are you suddenly sounding like a saint? When we all know you have the darkest of hearts. Why? Why? Once again, the rules. We cannot fight anything that is clean. That woman you fight is clean. And you know this. Oh, Grant, please spare me, spare me the preaching. This is my game. And I'm playing this game to the very best of my ability. Please, allow me. Let me be, please. And um, in the meantime, I, I want to tell you that um, I am going to become richer with two cars. Two exotic cars. State-of-the-art cars. I will give you one and go with one because I am not greedy. I am only generous, but please, allow me play my game, please. Zion! Zion! The coin has two sides, and we are the makers of the third side. <laughs> Gina, Gina. Mr. Zion. <laughs> you know, I can see it clearly that something good has happened. Has it not always been like that since I met you? <laughs> <laughs> I have known nothing but joy since our paths crossed. And for that, I am grateful. That is good to hear. Wait a minute. <laughs> good to hear. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> well, 
here are the papers to the cars. Wow. You know what to do with them. Gina, you have done your part. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> Sorry. I have made money. I mean, real money, what I have now, I cannot spend in my whole life. <laughs> and that particular story cannot be told without mentioning your name. But the game, the game from the beginning was to make you the queen of riches. <laughs> Is that not the game? I did not anticipate it this way. Sion, I am talking about hundreds of millions of naira. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 this is for you. Wow. <laughs> 15 million naira for me? <laughs> wow. I am very positive. This is just a tip of the iceberg. It's amazing. <laughs> How did you do it? Silas, <laughs> I have him right here in my palms. I play him the way I want. Wow. Well, I made him transfer all his funds into my bank account. And as I speak, he is fully dependent on me. <laughs> what I give, he takes. <laughs> God, I'm not smiling at all. <laughs> The Gina that I know. Yes. <laughs> I am in charge. Silas has become my toy. And so shall it be for a long time to come. <laughs> this is... Take that. Go and spoil yourself. I mean, take good care of yourself. And when your pocket runs dry, do not fail to come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Zion, Zion. In a super. Zion, Zion. You're not man. Old Lady Marion murdered, frozen, and dumped in the bush. And up till now, the police hasn't even arrested anybody. This is not good for the image of our police. Not at all. <clears throat> hmm. Do you know this lady personally? Of course. She was my travel agent for so many years. Arranged my tickets, hotels, you know, sightseeing. She, she was giving me total package at good discount. She was a very good woman. And why do I have this feeling that you were sleeping with this woman? She me. Hey! Gina. Of all things, what you, you, you think about is sex. I mean, I'm just talking based on your action. You're mourning this lady as if she was your girlfriend and I'm not comfortable with that. Who knows what crime she committed that brought about her death. Are you now saying that anybody who got killed must have committed a crime or done something to warrant the death? Aren't you at least going to let me into the house, our house? Let you into which house?
I actually came to discuss something with you. I'm in the same line of business as your husband. And as a senior colleague, I want him to help me. I don't know if you can give me some audience so I could explain better. Is this you? Gina. So, it is you. I'm doing everything possible to understand what you are doing in my house. What do you want? What? Her house? Silence. You, you, you heard her. Don't you remember her? This lady, Gina came to me. She was the one who came to me, begged me to beg you to assist her. It's Gina now. Have you forgotten? You're a fool. You're a fool. She asked you a question which you haven't answered up till now. Let me repeat that question. What are you doing here? Simple. Hey, hey. Jesus. Jesus. Silas. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten what Pastor Henry told us? <laughs> Think. Let us cut this crap and go in. And for you, go home. Leave us alone. Go home and rest. Let's go in. I'm sure you heard her. Hmm? I'm sure you heard her. So, if you know what's good for you, if you don't want me to push you and the baby away, Quietly leave this place. And let me warn you for the final time, don't ever set your feet here. You heard me? You heard me? Don't set your feet here again. You heard me. Now leave. Go home. Shut up, what? He says you should go. Chinekin nine knows a great guy named me. this house why because this house has become vulnerable that woman has access to this house and I will not allow my husband to be easily assessed by that evil woman Bano Gina wait hold, hold on why are you insisting that I dispose of all the property I have I acquired before I married you why why are you asking useless questions? We are doing away with all these things because they have a link to that evil woman. Moreover, what is wrong with getting new things? Even the Bible says that all things shall pass away and all things shall become new. You saw the office already. We got a new one that they cannot access. The same thing will happen in this house. We are going to sell it and get a new one that they cannot access. Is that clear? Hmm. I just see me and call for more now. Stop looking around, I've made my point already. Bessie, Bessie, I don't, I, I don't get it. Listen to me. There are many people in this town that can do this business for me. I came because of the long-term relationship I've, I've had with you over the years. That's why I gave you this job and you have been briefed. Why are you dragging your feet? Why? Listen. There's something you need to understand. This office is affiliated with the police. And there's no way we don't submit our operations to the police for vetting. Okay? Those cars are bought with the name of um, Silas and Kocha. And they are all duly registered. Do you know? His signature is in the 
in all the documents in the licensing office. Now, if we are going to change the cars to your name, that means you have to sign the change of ownership. And that's why I invited him to come. I can't believe this. Basically, in that quarrel, are you mad or something? No, have you not been paid? Why in this world will you invite anybody here? Why? You don't seem to understand. Understand what? Listen to me, my friends. You know the importance of confidentiality in business. And I expect you to do the right thing. Nice to meet you again. And uh, in case of uh, tomorrow you need my services. Who is that man? His name is uh, Zion. Zion? Yeah. He's a hustler in this town. You know, many people believe he's one of the psychics that manipulates people by using the, what is it called, the seven books of Moses. Mm -hmm. You know, Many people believe he can actually do everything and some other people fear him. I am a minister of the Most High God, called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I am telling you what I am saying. The time is coming and the time is almost so close when you shall get so down that you won't have money to even free your car. The truth is, I see Zion as a scam. I smell something negative here. Something negative? Yes, I smell something negative about that man. Like what? I need to track him. I don't know how far you can help me, but I need to track him. I have seen this person twice. Now I have reason to believe that it's you. You are one and the same person. No, 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 leave me. That, that was Namun Bob. Please, is there a way you can call your husband to order? I am a minister of God. Called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I don't know this one you've been seeing that looks like me. Because it can't be me. It can't. And please, stop associating me with negativity. What a lovely, a lovely part. What is this? Who are you and what are you doing in my office? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to claim you don't know me? Of course I don't know you. You don't know me? I don't know who you are. Listen, I am the minister of God. Called into the prophetic minister of the New Testament. As you can see, I am in the middle of administration here. And I, I don't want distractions. You are distracting me. If you want to see me, please. Go outside and wait for your turn. Please. You believe us now. Officers, do you know what to do? Pick him up. I'm Inspector James from Forensic Department, State Headquarters. You are to come with us to the station for questioning. Why? What, what's your name? Didn't you hear what I told you, your friend? I am a man of God. Called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I don't know what you mean by questioning me. What, what question do you please? What are you talking about? We are trying to make this operation as safe as possible. Do not push us. Stand up. Arrest of 
a man of God that was guiding you from the destruction of an evil woman. Someone I told you is my spiritual director. Imuma. Relax. Relax, my dear. What I did was in your own good. Was in your own interest. It's in your own good. Allow the police to investigate this matter. Who knows? We may have been doling out scarce resources, cash, to a scam. Oh, come on, Silas. Don't give me that crap. I mean, if not for this man's administration, you would have been a dead man by now. That which you married would have sent you to an early grave. Now, pick up your phone and undo all you did. This man was working, working hard to make you the next Minister of Petroleum Resources in this country. My dear, now that you have done this, it will not be possible since you have detailed police officers investigating him. But it won't be possible anymore. Hold on. Why are you holding brief for this man? I am not holding any brief for anybody. I am telling you the truth that concerns us as a family. Silas, shove the police off that man's back so he could do his best for us. Department confirms that the fingerprints contained in that document is yours. Are you still denying that you were not the same person that gave them out to Benson to change the cards to your name? Uh, 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 officer, I don't know what you are talking about. I am a minister of God with the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I didn't give any documents to anybody to change name or whatever. I don't even have a car because I don't believe in the vanity of this life. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you understand what he explained? Your fingerprints that we took are found in the documents. It follows naturally that you are the one that gave him the documents. Why are you denying? As you officers have refused to listen to me, let us understand ourselves. I am not going to answer any further questions until I've seen my lawyer. You keep referring to yourself as a man of God with prophetic ministry of the New Testament. What does that mean? It means exactly what I said. That I am a minister of God with the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I have an office where I sit and wait for people to come for ministration. In fact, both of you caught me in the, in the, in the center of administration. As I'm looking at both of you now, I have strong messages that can change your lives, make your lives better, and make you richer. That's my job, to make people richer and better. But I am not going to give both of you any message because you are treating me like a common criminal. When you refer to yourself as a minister of God, is it the same as using the seven books of Moses to manipulate people all in the name of prophecy? I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm not answering any question until I, until, I, until I see my lawyer. You said to the man that you're a beauty contractor. Can you please refer us to the houses you built? Is it not very clear now that both of you are mistaking me for someone else? I never said this thing you are saying to this man. In fact, I have never met this man outside my office. It is possible that this person that said this thing to him is the criminal you are looking for. Can't you understand it and let me go? Mr. Man, we are ready to assist you if you can tell us the truth. Who and who are involved with you in this camp? What is wrong with these officers? I don't understand this. You caught me in my office and you're not asking me the people that are involved in any this camp. What? I, I don't understand. I am not involved in any scam. I am a minister of God of the New Testament. Prophetic minister. Can't you understand this thing, please? The very day you asked me that you want the man to throw his wife out. Yes. Do you really remember what I told you? We are in the temple of depravity. We spot evil in somebody. 
before we can do that person any harm. There is no evil in this woman. Make all what you want from that man and leave the poor woman alone. me to make all the money I could make and that I should leave the woman alone. And what did you do? You went and engaged the services of Zion to manipulate the man and threw his wife out. You have to do all you can to help me. Please. I can pay anything. They have arrested Zion now, and they are questioning him right now. I just want you to seal his lips so that he doesn't mention my name. Please. You got exactly what you wanted, and what you desired. I will not involve myself in this matter. Sir, I don't think you heard what I said. I said I would pay just anything. Just, just seal his mouth so he doesn't mention my name at all. Please, there is still one more thing remaining for sale. And I'm planning on getting that done this week. My chances of selling that property may be ruined if he mentions my name. Please. I hate women. And that's why I will never marry any woman. Please, Sir Grant, let's not go into all that right now. I am in a mess as we speak. I will lose everything if you do nothing for me. All I want you to do is just to seal his lips so that he doesn't mention my name. Please, I really need you to do this for me. Please. It's obvious he's lying. I'm going to detain him. He's not leaving you until he tells me what I want to hear. Disobedience is a vice that cannot be tolerated anywhere. I told her to leave that woman alone. She disobeyed me. She underestimated the powers of this temple by going to meet a man who has been excommunicated by order to do what I ask her never to do. I am calling for a total reversal. Let those who seek find and let those who found leave with what they have found. Let this status quo be maintained. Let this status quo be maintained.
What am I? Huh? What am I? Where is this place? What am I doing here? Where is my wife, Elizabeth? Whose apartment is this? my wife Elizabeth friends, families, and couples, and destroying businesses. Let me tell you something. I will kill you if you fail to give us the confirmation we seek. Officers, I, I never forced anybody to give me money. They were giving me money on their own. Are you telling me now that I, I should refuse collecting money that people were paying me on their own? Is that what we are saying here? Who's who are paying you money? Who are they? Tell me the truth before I steal your life. Tell me the truth! Tell me the truth. Who are they? Sir, I don't understand what is happening. It has cleared from his eyes. He is not asking questions like someone who has regained his senses. What goes up must come down. I am sure you know that thing. He has regained his senses and is permanent. What? Why would you allow that to happen? You shouldn't have allowed him to regain his senses when I told you I still have one more property to sell. Hi. You are not qualified to benefit from this temple. You wallow in disobedience and greed. My presence and never come back. Sir Grant, please. Please help me. You are my last hope. I'm begging you, please. How dare you talk to me like that? You are constituting nuisance here. We can't have you do it. It is those who employed you here, those who put you in this office, they are the ones constituting nuisance. How can you talk to me like that? Don't you even realize that I own this place? I own this property. Oh, you think it's funny? 
You think it's funny? Now call your boss so that I can get things cleared out immediately. My boss is not on seat. As per what you said, I advise you to go back home and check yourself very well. Because this building you are claiming to be yours was bought by this firm from one Mr. Silas and Butcher of Social Oil and Servicing Company. You see? You see, now I know that you all are frosters. How can I, Silas and Butcher, sell this property to you people? Now call them before I do something drastic right now. Get them on phone or bring them out. Let me, let me speak with them. I'm sorry, sir. You may take your leave now. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, until, I, until, I see, yes, until I see your bosses. Let them, let, let them come so we can talk. Your security. Your attention is needed here immediately. I see. I see. All the more. All we will give was security. But don't worry. I'll be back. I'll be back. You can be sure that I will certainly be back. Insinuating that I sold my house and now live in this in this apartment. I sold my house and I'm now living here. I I don't I don't understand why you don't seem to remember that. I mean, you sold that house because the evil woman was coming around to bother us. Who are they us? And who is the evil woman? My love, you have to calm down. This is who you have become. And you have been happy like this. My office. Do you know what has happened to my office? Nothing happened to it. You equally have the papers to the rented office space there with you. So it is true. Eh? It's true. My office has changed as well. Eh? Huh. Uh, I need to put some things straight. Oh yes. I need to put some things straight immediately. As for you, when I come back, let me not find you here. You hear me? When I come back, let me not see you here because I don't want to commit murder. Mbata mo tega eba ina diya ka ka kokeri lazo mo tega eba mbata give us the good day the good lazo. Good day, sir. Uh, good day. My name is Silas Water of uh, Suchas Oil Services Company Limited. I'm looking for my secretary, Mirabel. Um, she was once my secretary, actually. Are you Silas Nkwacha? Are you the same Silas Nkwacha that fired a poor girl for telling you the truth? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She told you. Oh. Listen, my brother. A lot of things went wrong, really. So many things went wrong. I'm now trying to see how I can right the wrongs. See, that's why I'm looking for her. Where is she? Mirabe now work in a consular office in Canada. Oh my God. She's out of the country. Do you have her number? I don't have her number. She hasn't sent her number to us. And I don't know why. 
Something is wrong It's not the way we used to be Something is I called the landlord on phone. I spoke to him before I started coming. So, why are you still delaying me? Allow me entrance. I was the one you called. Yes, I was the one you spoke to. And that makes you what? The landlord? I am the property manager for the owner of this house. And I'm sorry, you no longer have access to this facility. My papers are here, giving me access to the place. Can I have it? Yeah. All right. Check it properly. My name is there. Silas Nkwacha, CEO, Suchas Oil Services Limited. It's right there. I don't know why you're delaying me. Oga? Yes? When was the last time you even came here? Can you remember? Why? Your rent expired two months ago. Mbano. And all I have to contact you prove that but I only collected this paper just to make sure that somehow you've not renewed your rent. Hey. How come? How come? How come? You know the right number to call when Something it's... is wrong. It's not the way we used to be. Something is so This is the height of insult. Huh? This is the height of disgrace. How can anyone do this to Silas and Quacha? Come, do you even realize who you're dealing with? So I believe you, a gentleman. Why not do this the right way? I should be telling you that. You hear me? I should be the one telling you that. You locked me out of my apartment. Now you're telling me to do things the right way. Talking about right and wrong. I'm only doing my job, sir. I suggest you come to my office so that we can talk this over. How much is even the rent we're talking about? How much is it? Mayor, 350,000 Naira. Let me in. I'll write you a check right now. Daily the check, Kita. Mr. Silas, it's not all about the amount. I'll give you the grace. But please, come with your rent to the office and don't let it exceed today. If I can, the landlord is not very much. Landlord, the loser don't want to with tenant. It's okay. You can get into your apartment. But please remember, don't let it exceed today. I don't want to believe this. What could have happened to all my accounts? I'm just coming from New Age Bank and they are giving me the same report. Honestly, this is more than I can understand. I tried getting in touch with you when we discovered the discrepancy in your account, but your line was unavailable. I'm in trouble. I'm in deep, deep trouble. You see, the problem now is that I'm supposed to settle my house rent today. Now, how am I going to do that? With just 20,000 Naira in my account, I'll, I'll, I'll be homeless. I will advise you to get a loan since you need the money urgently. But are you sure of getting the collaterals? I came here because I know you will come. I hope you did not mention my name to them. Gina, why didn't you mention to me that you were the one that killed Lady Mary? Why? What the hell are you talking about? Someone saw you when you dropped her remains in the bush. I reported to the police. That is the main case against you now. What I did is nothing because I didn't force anyone to give me money. They were paying me money on their own. But I hope you didn't say anything to damage my name. Where is Grant? I don't know. He left without saying a word. Sion, what have you done? You brought policemen to arrest me? You brought me into this mess and we must go down together. You.
Silas Mbocha, is this the life for you? From a hero to a homeless man, God is the only one I need in a time like this. Where do I go from here? God, please have mercy on me. You don't care anymore. I just want you to love me like before. I believe this is Mr. Silas Mkwacha. Yes, this is Mr. Silas Mkwacha speaking. How may I be of help to you? My name is Nandi Benjamin. A police officer calling from area command. I don't know why a police officer is calling me. I am with my pastor, please. Could you please come to the area command? I can't possibly figure out why you are inviting me to your office, but I am in a meltdown right now. My wife Elizabeth is nowhere to be found, and that's my main concern right now. I know where you are coming from. We have been on your matter for some weeks now and we have made a headway. Please come immediately. This is the woman you married for six months. You already confessed how they use mystic powers on you and manipulated you into sacking your wife. In the process of ensuring she gets you to sack your wife and marry her, she made away with Lady Marion. What? She was the one that dumped Lady Marion in the bush. After cleaning her in your house, she actually left her corpse in your house for days. And she figured out how to get rid of it. God, this is unbelievable. Someone saw her and reported the case after the newspaper publication. Since then, we followed up the case. Finally, here are the prime suspects. We we'll make sure they face the full rot of the law. We called you because we believe you have every right to know what is actually going on. Don't, don't you remember her? Uh -uh. This lady, Gina came to me. She was the one who came to me. Begged me to beg you to assist her. It's Gina now. Have you forgotten? Hi. Elizabeth, my wife and my world. Where will I find her? Where? Hey. Brother Silas. Calm down. You will find her. Pastor, Pastor. What are you doing here? I know that nothing I will say now will make any sense to you, sir, but please hear me out. You see, I was manipulated by evil people who were envious of the love I have for my wife. I didn't know what I was doing. Believe me. You know what? Get up. Get up. And get up. Hey. 
Daniel. Please, sir. Please hear me out. I love my wife. I love Elizabeth. She knows it. She knows that I love her even more than my own life. It's just that I didn't know what came over me. I didn't know what happened. I'm here to reconcile with her. Do you ever recall what you did? Someone who has a first class, you forced her into becoming a housewife. You starved her of funds. And when she went to ask for favor to help your own daughter, you had the effrontery of accusing her of infidelity. You wanted to post her life. But you finally post your own life because of your wickedness. Well, thank God, my Elizabeth has moved on with her life. Huh? Thank God. Hey! Hey, phone. Hey, phone more. Let it not be that Elizabeth has gone ahead and married another man. That will be the end of life for me. That will finish me completely. My dear Elizabeth, you are now a fulfilled woman. Forget his wickedness and move on. Okay? Auntie, I don't understand which side you and Uncle are on. You're supposed to be on my side. No, we are definitely on your side. But it's not about taking sides. It's about doing the right thing. Was he thinking about doing the right thing when he did what he did to me? What would have happened to the children and I if not for you and Uncle? Elizabeth, I've always loved you. Because you are intelligent and very sensible. Now, tell me. Does it look like your husband Auntie, did... please! Auntie, please! I beg in the name of God. Do not refer to Silas as my husband. He's not my husband. I don't have a husband. His name is Silas. And if we must continue this discussion, please refer to him as Silas and not my husband. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. But what I was asking was, does it look like Silas? did what he did with his senses intact. That is his problem and not mine, auntie. It is his problem, not mine. He made his choice the moment he decided to treat me like an outsider and an animal. That is the way it's going to be. I have nothing to do with him. He is not my husband and will never be. So please, if we do not have any other thing to discuss, auntie, let's change the topic or... My dear, I don't know what else to say. My dear, since he chased you away and you returned back to us, I know how many men that have come seeking for your hand in marriage. And you rejected and all of them. And that is because I do not want to have anything to do with any other man, auntie. For crying out loud, do you know what I went through in the hands of Silas? He was the only man I loved. I sacrificed every single thing for him, even my career, and he ended up betraying me. How in God's name will I be involved with another man? Elizabeth, God you forbid you lie. You rejected all the men that came seeking for your hand in marriage, including the prince of our town, Enugoku. The reason you did that was because somewhere in your heart, you still have Silas hiding. Think about it. I know Silas was a fool, but now he's normal again. Please, think about it. Mommy, mommy! Yes, what is it? Mama said we'll go back to daddy. Why would she tell you that? I didn't tell her that. Mommy, but I miss daddy. I want us to go back. My dear, you, me, and your brother are enough family for you, okay? You don't need Silas. But you see, my brother looks like my father. Let us go back to him. I wish she can understand the extent of the damage her father did to us. How can a man deny his family, beat his pregnant wife, and deny his unborn child? I wish my little girl would understand that there is no way, no way I will allow Silas back into her lives ever again.